Hey guys, it's Kay Jones coming at you with a new series. <laughs> this is actually going to be a Star Wars series on about basically let's talk about Star Wars. I decided to do this to do this new uh, series on my channel because well, I've always had two common hobbies in my life since I was about nine years old, and they're the only hobbies that have stuck with me, and it is uh, RuneScape. And Star Wars. If you don't know what RuneScape is, basically it's this online game that I've played my entire life. Um, off and on, of course. And um, it's just a multiplayer game where you basically level up skills and such. And then Star Wars has always been a great big part of my life since I was nine years old as well. And uh, in this particular first episode, I'm just going to be talking about what is going to be expected in this series. You know, some things that I want to talk about. Um, how I got into Star Wars, my favorite character, things like that. And so you get to learn a little bit about me before we start getting into the deep topics, you feel? Um, so hello there. And uh, I'm really excited to start this. So I just... I truly have loved Star Wars since I was a child. I've, I have a huge collection. In fact, I think some of my collection, oh gosh, you can kind of see it. I mean, I just, I've always loved Star Wars. And I also have a huge pin collection. I was thinking one day I could do a video to perhaps, you know, show my collection and so you can see everything that I own that's Star Wars related. But, um, so let's talk about how I got into Star Wars to begin with, you know. I don't know about y'all, but I was nine years old. I had no interest in Star Wars whatsoever before that. I knew who Yoda was. I knew who Darth Vader was. And I don't know. I just thought it was silly. I thought it was silly. I wasn't interested in it at all. In fact, I thought it was kind of ridiculous how so many people were into it and how it was so popular. Um, and so at nine years old, I was at my dad's bay house. And I remember being bored and not really knowing what to do or watch. And Redbox was really popular at the time. It was like Blockbuster and then by the time when I was like five, six, seven, eight, and then Blockbuster started to die and it was like I was nine years old and Redbox was the new thing. You'd pay a dollar and watch whatever. Well, all of the Star Wars trilogy was there at Redbox. And when we went to McDonald's, I think I got like a Happy Meal or something like that, who knows. I was like, Dad, I want to watch a movie tonight. And he's like, okay, because I guess he was out doing stuff and I was bored, you know. It was during the summer when I was out of school. And um, I remember picking Star Wars. Now, I didn't know what Roman numerals were. I did not know what one, two, three. I didn't know anything about Roman numerals. So I just kind of picked what looked cool at nine. I can't remember why. It's so hard to remember the exact details, but I happened to have picked episode three. I don't know if it's because... I think the front cover is what got me. It had Darth Vader. It was a newer um, movie, so it had these really great-looking characters. You know, Padme on the front, Obi-Wan and Anakin, and... I don't know. It probably looked the best to me, so I picked it. I don't know. But it was almost like it was fate, guys, because I got home, and I had this tiny, tiny, tiny TV in my room. No cable, I don't think was... Maybe. I don't remember. But this tiny, tiny little TV... And I had a DVD player. And I decided to watch Star Wars. I must have been 9 or 10. I think 10, maybe 9. And I watched it. It's a PG-13 movie. Um, my dad didn't think twice about it. He just got me the movie. And I watched it by myself. Nobody else. I was cuddled up in my bed and I watched Star Wars. And I just remember starting it thinking I was bored. And it looked cool. And, you know... The older movies did not interest me because, you know, as a young kid, technology has changed so much. And so I remember sitting down and watching it and I really didn't know what was going on. I just thought that the fight scenes were cool. I loved the relationship between Obi-Wan and Anakin. I thought R2-D2 was hilarious the way he would make all these noises. C-3PO cracked me up. I was very fascinated in you know, the Separatist ships and just the amazing effects. 
You know, this is back, I think that, that movie came out in 2003, and I just thought it was such a cool universe. You know, and this was somebody who was not interested at all and was just bored as a kid and was like, that movie looks cool, and I'll pick that one. Just random movie. And so, you know, by the end of the movie, I mean, I knew who Darth Vader, I knew who Yoda was, etc., but I didn't know all these other characters. And eventually, I caught the hint that Anakin was Darth Vader as a younger man. And I caught that because, obviously, it was hinted throughout the movie. Although I was young, I wasn't that naive. And after the Battle of Mustafar, um, my heart was broken. Like, I had already attached to Obi-Wan and Anakin just from that one movie. And I think that's a little bit phenomenal. I also thought the relationship between him and Padme, her saying that she was pregnant, I was like, oh, dang, you know, as a kid, like, it was just so enticing. Um, and these were heroes, good-looking heroes on top of that. But, um, and I knew when Anakin was burning and saying, I hate you and all that, I knew that, man, this is, that he's going to turn to Darth Vader. This is it. As a kid, I knew. I don't know how I knew. And I got scared. It was scary. I like hid behind the door and I was like peeking behind the door watching and I just remember hearing, you know, him screaming during that scene about him like putting on the electronics and stuff and I thought that it was so scary. I didn't want to see him become Darth Vader. Why I thought that was scary? No idea. <laughs> no freaking idea. Um... But I just remember, you know, hiding behind the door, hearing the screaming from Hayden, you know, Anakin's character. He was burnt up to a crisp, and maybe that's why it was scary to me. And he was screaming in pain, and I was just terrified. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. Gross, you know, gross. And I was like, hiding behind the door, not watching it at that point, and just listening. And then I heard... And as a kid, I was scared. I was like, oh my gosh, Darth Vader. And the, but then I was like, I would peek. You know, I kept peeking and I was like, oh my gosh, it's Darth Vader. And then you hear, no, and the whole deal. And then eventually once that scene was over, I was able to finally come out from outside the door. I just remember I was so scared about that. And I saw Obi-Wan give Luke and Leia and I was like, oh, that's where Luke is attached. Because I had an idea of Star Wars. I just didn't know. I, I wasn't, I didn't know that much about it, you know. And I was like, dang. And so, as a kid, I got hooked from that movie. I think I was obsessed with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, I just loved his character. Can't say why. I think it's because he was the ultimate good guy. You know? And, of course, every kid likes the hero, right? Um, and I was also heartbroken and very emotionally challenged as a child to watch that. You know, it was so real to me. It was almost... As a mind, as a kid, you don't know sometimes that movies aren't real. <laughs> and so it was so realistic to me. And um, I went back and therefore watched episode one and two. I wasn't really scared of those because Darth Vader wasn't involved. And I wasn't scared of Maul or Dooku for some reason. It was just, you know, at nine or ten Darth Vader for some reason. And I watched those and I got even more hooked. And then I was like, Mom... You want to watch episode four, five, six? And I kept saying, Mom, do you like Star Wars? Mom, do you like Star Wars? She's like, yeah, I saw it in theaters as a kid. I'm like, who's your favorite character, you know? She's like, R2-D2 and C-3PO. And I was like, oh. I was kind of disappointed, thinking it would be something else. I'm like, have you seen the new movies? Have you seen the new movies? And she's like, no. She's like, when did you see these? And I'm like, I was a, I was a dad, you know? Because my parents were divorced. And I was with him for the majority of the summer. And so, of course, after episode three, my dad and I went back and I got episode one and two and watched those. I mean, I was just hooked. And so my mom eventually sat down with me because she ended up buying me all these Star Wars toys, action figures, because I was just, you know, the, the prequels were the thing then. And um, I just remember her sitting down and finally watching episode four, five, six with me. And I thought they were a little bit boring because, you know... By then, I must have been 11, you know, by the time I got to 4, 5, 6, because I watched them later. And um, my mom's the one that really convinced me to watch those older original films, because as a kid, I'm like, those are boring. They don't have all those cool effects. It doesn't look real. You know, it wasn't, it just was, it was, I don't know, it was a time period, you know. And so I must have been 11 or so when I ended up watching those with my mother. And... My mother was very genuine about episode four and really loved Star Wars. Um, not as much as I did. She just appreciated it because she watched it as a kid. 
And finally, you know, I didn't think I appreciated the original trilogy until I was about 16, 15, 16 years old. Um, I liked the original trilogy as a kid. I, I loved to see Ben Kenobi older because Obi-Wan was my favorite character. Um, I liked Luke and Leia. Not as much, but I, I really appreciated it because it tied it all together. I got to see more of Darth Vader and Anakin, and it was really nice, you know. So that was the order I watched them in was 3, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. What? Put in the comments below what you watched them as or what was your first Star Wars movie you watched and such. So yeah, I've kind of already discussed my favorite character and what's so funny is to this day, after all the new stuff that's come out, Obi-Wan is still my favorite character. And when I mean Obi-Wan, I mean from all the series, episodes, everything. He's maintained that place. You know, and probably when I hit around 13, I started reading the children's books like Jedi Quest and things like that. And a lot of it was just Legends material for children and teenagers. And I really loved that as a kid. It, it really enticed me. And um, I never ever got into the Clone Wars series as a child because my mom would not let me watch Cartoon Network. I don't know, man. I don't know if anyone of y'all have had parents that don't let you watch Cartoon Network, but no, my mom did not. She thought uh, some of the shows were a little bit much or just inappropriate. Who knows? Um, so I, I just couldn't watch Cartoon Network. And guess what? The Clone Wars series was on Cartoon Network. And back in those days, which wasn't that long ago, there weren't really any streaming websites. I think not even Netflix was out then. If so, it wasn't popular. And um, so... I didn't watch the Clone Wars series. In fact, I wasn't that... I mean, I just heard about it. YouTube was still primarily kind of new by then. I don't think there was a lot of stuff out. And <clears throat> it was cartoons, so it didn't hit me as much. And I was older. I was just still obsessed with the main movies. Um, and I've always loved Star Wars. You know, when, when I heard... I've always dreamed about a Kenobi film coming out. A series of him after episode three. And, you know if he breaks and you know I just love his character you know there's so much that they could go with that and I've always dreamt of that as a kid because I would read so many books on Obi-Wan and basically Anakin and such you know and I loved reading as a kid that's how I kind of maintained my Star Wars fandom because I couldn't watch Cartoon Network or anything else and nothing new was coming out Star Wars. I just remember I played the Battlefront 1 and I also played the Episode 3 game, roleplay game. I played some Star Wars games, etc. Um, then I hit around 15, 16 years old and I played Star Wars The Old Republic. I maxed out in that game, haven't played it for years because as an adult it just doesn't hold my interest as much. But when it first came out it was the, the shit. <laughs> It was awesome, and I really loved that online experience. I also played Qatar, uh, Knights of the Old Republic, as a kid. I was probably like around around 11 or 12. We picked up those movies um, from Walmart. Not movies, excuse me. The PC game where you put in the CD in your computer, and I just was obsessed with those. Absolutely loved it as a kid. So when that MMO came out around 15, 16, I was hooked. Um... By the time I was 17, 18, I slowed down. There wasn't really any new Star Wars stuff coming out. I think probably around 18, 19, Disney took over, um, you know, Lucasfilm. Maybe I was a little younger, but nothing new was out, you know? And it was like, it was such a strange thing because I never ever got into the Clone Wars animated series or Rebels until I got Netflix. And Netflix, I think, had the Clone Wars movies and etc. And I didn't get into the animated series, really, until Disney+. Plus. And so recently, you know, every all, everything that's coming back to life with Star Wars is so beautiful. Because it, as a child, I had this peak. And there was this peak with books and stuff. And then everything died down. And then Lucas sold it to, to Disney. And I'm not... I don't love everything that Disney's done with Star Wars. And I think a lot of it was a money grab. Was it entertaining? Yes, was a lot of the story heartbreaking because it wasn't what I expected as a fan? Absolutely, you know. And I plan to go more in depth of that in this series, you know. Um, so, yeah, basically, I just, 
I love Star Wars. I'm excited for The Mandalorian Season 2. All this new stuff coming out, it's really hyping me up. I'd love to talk about things in this series, you know, of what what's the future of Star Wars. You know, hearing the release of the Kenobi series, I lost it because that's something I dreamed about as a child. And, you know, I'd love to have, you know, a background film on General Grievous, Palpatine, Plagueis, all these wonderful characters that were fine and new characters, you know. So I, I'm wanting to go into depth into this universe. There is so much I want to talk about and that I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to so much. And I would love to show my reactions to, you know, the trailer and things like that. When I'm releasing this video, basically, this was the weekend for Star Wars Celebration, and it was canceled for COVID-19, and I've been thinking about doing this on my YouTube channel for a very long time. I just haven't pushed myself to do it, so I'm excited for this series, guys, and I can't wait for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoy watching and listening as much as I do. Put your favorite Star Wars character down below in the comments and tell me what order of the episodes that you watch Star Wars in and how you got started into the into getting involved in the Star Wars universe. I just wanted to add that if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at kjones underscore crafts. And basically, there's a bunch of Star Wars content on there, guys. I'm a big collector, but I also have some awesome stuff on my Instagram channel that y'all can check out. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll talk to y'all on Insta and in the YouTube comments. Thanks, guys.